everyone, my name is Louise and I want to wish you a happy Endangered Species Day. Endangered Species Day was created to be able to raise awareness about endangered species, but also to celebrate the successes we've had with bringing them back from the brink of extinction. To celebrate Endangered Species Day, we need to know what an endangered species is. First, we should ask, what is a species? A species is a group of animals that are similar to each other and that can reproduce to form others of their kind. So, this beetle is in the same species as this beetle. They are very similar and they can produce more beetles. The fish behind me, this fish, is a different species than the fish right next to it. They cannot produce other fish that look like them. An endangered species is a species that's in danger of dying out. In other words, going extinct. This usually happens because their habitat, the environment they're living in, is being destroyed. Or it can happen because they're being overhunted or overfished. Both of these factors can lead to the population getting smaller and smaller. But it can also lead to a decreased genetic diversity. An example of an animal with a lot of genetic diversity is a dog. There are so many different kinds of dogs, from Great Danes to Chihuahuas. An example of an animal with very low genetic diversity is the giant panda. One giant panda is very similar to another giant panda on a genetic level. This means that if something bad happens, like a very devastating disease, hits the species, a species like a dog would have a much better chance of surviving because there's a better chance that there is a dog that has the right genetics to survive that disease. In pandas, if it's going to affect one panda, it's likely to affect all the pandas. And so they have a higher chance of going extinct, even if their population was bigger than it is now. The International Union for the Conservation of Nature is the institution that comes up with a list of all plants and animals and fungi in the world and rates them in terms of how close they are to going extinct. Keeping this list and taking care of species that are going extinct is important because all species on planet Earth are important to their ecosystem. Their ecosystem being the community of species that they live with. Oftentimes if one species goes extinct, it can lead to other species going extinct, or it could throw off the balance in an ecosystem and change it in a devastating way. There's also real importance to our health when a species goes extinct. A great example of this is the rosy periwinkle, a plant that carries the cure to Hodgkin's disease and many kinds of leukemia. It was on the brink of extinction when its benefits to medicine were discovered. So how can you help with the conservation of endangered species? Well, there are many ways for you to help. First off, you can learn more about your local endangered species. This can help you learn how to better help, but also can help you teach others about the species around you. We can't help what we don't know anything about. Secondly, you can make your home safe for wildlife. Make sure that your trash is not accessible to wildlife. This will stop them coming into our environments and potentially being harmed by the trash that they eat. You could also plant a native species garden. Remember to reduce, reuse, recycle. I know we hear it all the time, but it makes a huge difference. Remember to buy sustainably sourced products. Many of the ecosystems and habitats the endangered species are living in are being destroyed in order to make way for crops that are being grown unsustainably. And unsustainable fishing is destroying a lot of marine ecosystems too. You can also help by volunteering with any conservation project. So remember, you can make a difference to help all species, great and small, have a great endangered species day.